Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm really excited to go into this True Value Hardware Store. It's the only one in Fairbanks. I have visited it once before, but because I was in a hurry, I never really toured it. And I actually need something that they have. So we're going to go in there, and if the owner allows us to, we're going to go ahead and tour that store and show you just all of the prepper stuff that you can get in there. All right, And this is kind of like a part of Fairbanks history because this is the only one that's left, the only one that's here. And if I remember the inside right, it is like old school, right? So I hope you enjoy this. Let's go on in. Well, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. This is the only true value in Fairbanks. And look at this. It is full of goodies. We're going to go up and down every single aisle to see what they have. And maybe it'll give you ideas on things that you ought to be getting for your prepper stash. So check this out. Tools. We always talk about tools. Look at that. This is a really well organized store. I mean, look at this. Nothing's really out of place. And there is a lot of history here. You know, this store has been around here for a long time. I mean, you've got all the gloves and all the kind of gloves that you need. And you all know that I got my gloves, but you never know. These gloves are really nice right here especially if you like pump your own fuel oil into your house very nice gloves i might just pick me up one of these and they're soft which means that they'll stay pretty pliable during the winter time i've been looking for a shovel like this for a long time i've only been able to find plastic ones so i'm definitely going to grab me one of these shovels maybe two awesome take a look at this this is for your uh, for your logs you're doing your own wood this is something that i need to get too i am going to get in trouble today ladies and gentlemen because i already see a few things that i want and i wasn't planning on getting them look at this like i'm not the excitement in my voice is i'm not making it up this is awesome look at this there is everything here ladies and gentlemen i hope that this gives you ideas as to things that you may be missing in your preparedness plan. I definitely got to pick some of these up for my chicken coop for next year. Let's see what they've got over here. Pest control, plant food. Here's your several different types of heaters. And by the way, I'm not recording the employees, but I did talk to the manager here and he's a really nice guy. I asked him if he if I can record in here and he said yes and I really appreciate that but he's a really nice guy by the way. But I did promise him that I would not record any customers or any of the employees because their privacy is valuable to them. But if you live in Fairbanks and you haven't been to this true value, come here. I'm going to start coming here first and foremost before I go to like Lowe's or Home Depot for hardware stuff right obviously they don't have lumber here but for anything that has to do with hardware this is where i'm going to come this looks like one of those solo stoves but this one is a duraflame and the price is really not bad when you compare it to the solo stove i think that's what they're called the solos live traps right there not too bad if you want to go ahead and catch a few squirrels without having to waste a 22. Here's a small log splitter. This is just a five ton, pretty small, but they do sell really big ones. They've got a little bit of everything here. Got some generators. The thing about these small stores compared to the large ones is that a lot of times you can find something that you couldn't find in one of the big stores. They might have it here tucked in a little corner and the employees here, they're so intimate with this place that they pretty much know where everything is. Look at this. This is one of the biggest splitting uh, axes that I've seen. Look at how big that thing is. Here's my hand. It's about the size of my hand. That's huge. I think it says it's 12 pounds. See, I'm more used to something like that. Here's everything you need if you're installing a wood stove. I wish they could sell wood stoves here, but I'm pretty sure they don't. Oh, here, I've, I've never really seen any Troy built type of chainsaws.
And believe it or not, the price of this is very comparable to that of which we pay in a big store, like a Lowe's or Home Depot. All of the little things that you may be forgetting in your preps, ladies and gentlemen, you can probably find them here. This is like the gold mine of preps that you forgot. <laughs> Some JB Weld, that can always come in handy. Have you thought about your shoes? Your shoe goo? Buckets, I see these little ones here. I might just have to pick me up a couple of these small buckets because there is a project that I'm gonna be working on that I'll be sharing with you all. And those small buckets there will be perfect. Here's some tubing, which I will be needing some of today. I am working on a different project that's gonna require some tubing as well. And what is this? Oh, okay. You like, you put this in between your wood stove and uh, the chimney or whatever goes out the top or whatever they call it. I think it's the flu. And it uh, gives you a little more heat. See that, you put a fan in there. Or there's a fan in there. That's pretty neat. Here's everything you need for your pump to transfer your fuels. Here's the fans that you put on top of your wood stove that they work on heat. Let me know if you know down in the comments. You know how these little fans, they work off of heat it heats something up and then it actually produces energy enough to spin that fan around. Is that a thermal couple that's used to convert that heat into energy or a thermal pile, one or the other? Let me know if you all know. Look at this wicks. No, these aren't wicks. This is for the uh, doors of a wood stove. See, ladies and gentlemen, these are the things that you want to be thinking about. Do you have a wood stove? Do you have extra liners? For the doors on your wood stoves do you have cleaners at least an extra one just in case you just never know i was here once before a long time ago when i first built my house and the reason i never really took a tour of this place is because when i was building my house i needed one part i needed a little coupling for my heater for my Toyo stove, I couldn't find it anywhere. I came here and found it, but I just came in, got it and left. I never stood around because I needed heat. We needed heat for the house and uh, I had just been finished building it and uh, we had to move into it and it was already the cold months. So I needed to make sure that I had heat in it. It was in October that we moved into our house and it was already cold. This is a pretty big store for a mom and pop shop, but that's what this is, it is a mom and pop shop. This is considered a small business. And like I said, it has history here in the community. And I'm just so glad that I stopped by to do this. And here's your heat tapes. Do you have any extra heat tape if you need it? These are pretty cool. These are like little thermostat outlets. So you plug this into your outlet. And let's say you have a heater plugged into it or something or a heat tape plugged into it or something like that that you want to turn on and turn off at a certain temperature and i believe that these turn on when it reaches like 45 degrees or something like that i see something over there that i wish i would have known they had before i got some somewhere else and that's this right here look at these sleds this is awesome now most of these big sleds they're used for like when people go hunting and they pull them from the back of their snowmobiles or 4x4s, if that's what they're using. Uh, but I would use this for the house. This thing is huge, and it's not a bad price, $114. This is something that I'll probably have to come and pick up one day uh, when the back of my truck is clear, because look at how big it is. It's huge. I would say that it's close to two and a half to three times bigger than the sleds that I have at the house. This is awesome. Oh, let's take a look at the big mama of canners. Look at this guy. That's our all American right there. Look at how big that guy is. I'm afraid to look at the price. Yeah, they're very pricey, but they're gonna last you a lifetime. I mean, look at the comparison between this. Look at how thick 
Look at how thick the metal is, and it's milled out of one piece, out of one piece of metal. Obviously, the top is milled out of one piece, and the bottom is milled out of one piece, but look at the thickness on that, and then look at these guys. Not saying anything bad about the Prestos, all right? They've got their place, and I have a Prestos, my very first uh, pressure canner, but this, you're gonna leave to your kids. This will more than likely be in a garage sale somewhere after you've left this earth. Oh my goodness, I've been actually needing one of these for one of my Prestos. I have to go home and see exactly what size it is that I need. I'm not sure if they're going to have the, the size that I need. These are the smaller ones. I actually need one of the bigger ones. I need one that's this size, but I think I'll bring in the lid and, uh, and see if they have one here that'll fit. Awesome. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. All of our lodge cookware. This is a great place to come to. If you live in Fairbanks and you haven't been here yet, you definitely need to come on over here. Look at this. Look at this crock right here for your cabbage. I'm gonna have to build a bigger house. Look at this crock. Look at this cabbage crock. <laughs> that thing is huge. Man, that is awesome. That is so nice. I wish I had more room in my house. I would definitely be picking that thing up. There's the weights for the smaller crocs right here. Yep, there's your weights right there. Nice. I hope you're enjoying this little tour. I am. I'm, I'm like genuinely enjoying this. And it's raining outside today, so it's not like there's anything I can really do outside. But here's your little lighting section. Remember when these were all of the stores that there were, where they didn't have the big box stores and it was not these nice little stores, you know, all over the US. And now it's kind of like a, a relic, right? To be able to even find one. Look at these buckets. You know, I mean, you don't see these buckets at a Home Depot or Lowe's. You just don't. This right here, I'm not sure how much they are, if it would be cost effective, but this right here would make a great little raised bed. That's a great little raised bed right there for a garden. Same thing with these guys. Here's your, uh, here's your Faraday cage, ladies and gentlemen. If you wanna make a Faraday cage, right there. Look at that guy, is that cool or what? <laughs> Like I said, there's so many things here that I would like to get. Here's your additives, some of your oils. These are the little guys that you don't see anymore either, you know, to oil things up. This is where we're gonna have to go back to, ladies and gentlemen. Things like this, where you actually put the oil in there and then you use it instead of getting something that's like a spray bottle. So this is definitely something that I'll be interested in as well. Look at this. You all talk about doing laundry after the apocalypse. There's just so many things here. Look at that, and, and you can actually attach it to a bucket. You see that, or a basin, so that you can dry your clothes. And here you go. Here's your clothes scrubber. And then you can have your little ones doing the socks. <laughs> Oh, well, take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, this is a problem everywhere in the United States, I guess it looks like. But, but these signs are not a joke. It's true. I talked to uh, one of the employees here. He says, yeah, some people come in here and they steal stuff. And I'm like, really? You know, eh, anyways, I digress. But I guess that happens everywhere. It's happening everywhere. And it's going to get worse as the economy does worse. But here's some more of their tools here. All right, let's go back and grab that uh, that shovel because I'm definitely getting one of those shovels. I've been looking for one of those for a long time and all I ever find are the ones that are made out of plastic. So we're gonna go ahead and grab that. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a good time on this little tour. I think it was awesome myself, all right? So we'll talk to you here in a few minutes. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, in true AP fashion, as soon as I was going to restart my phone to sign off, I ran out of batteries. Or I actually had like 1% left. So thank you very much for joining in. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this little field trip. I sure did have a lot of fun. Other than that, have a great day. Thank you for all of your support. Remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place. And you know that it will be a better place. And find a true value or a little mom and pop shop hardware store near you and support them instead of going to the big box stores. This is going to be my first stop every time that I need some kind of a hardware item going forward. I'm Alaska Prepper. Many blessings to all of you and your families. And I am out.